Jared Kushner in charge of negotiating Israeli-Palestinian peace. Try saying that with a straight face. Uh, laughable to begin with, more laughable after Trump recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, which is just such a divisive thing to do that removes the U.S. as an even possibly unbiased arbiter in that conflict. So even though the concept of Kushner is a joke, he mostly has avoided that caught on video type of public embarrassment until now because he's been a behind the scenes guy until a few days ago. He went to the Saban Forum, which was organized, is organized by the Center for Middle East Policy. He was interviewed by Haim Saban. Headlines all around about how embarrassing and humiliating Jared Kushner's appearance there was. And I thought to myself, it's probably being exaggerated. It's that clickbait that I keep hearing about on the Internet. No, this is a stunning public dressing down of not only Kushner, but the entire idea of this team that Donald Trump has put together to negotiate Israeli-Palestinian peace. I'm guessing maybe Kushner felt safe here. Saban is an Israeli telecom billionaire. Kushner maybe had no reason to think that this would go horribly wrong, but it did. And in this first clip, you'll notice that Kushner is starting to get nervous, very hard swallowing. You'll notice him doing going into a talking point point coma, as I like to call it, spitting up talking points like a baby eating solid food for the first time. Can't quite get it out or down. Here's how Jared Kushner started going wrong here. Is that are of great concern to people. You have Iran and, and their their nuclear ambitions and their um, and their expansive uh, regional uh, mischief. Uh, you have uh, ISIS, which this administration has done a really great job of beating back and and uh, almost defeating at this. Oh yeah. Uh, you have uh, the ideology, you know, the extremism, which I think you're now seeing a lot of uh, leaders in the, the the Muslim world try to. Uh, restore uh, store uh, the religion to what it's to what it always has been and to uh, try to eliminate the ability for people to uh, to to pervert it in the way they have and then you have the Israeli Palestinian issue and I think that if we're going to try and create more stability in the region as a whole you have to solve this 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 issue and so the president sees it as something that uh, that, that that has to be solved, that he very much <laughs> wants to be solved. Yeah. And it's something that he's personally put a lot of time into trying to see happen. Right, so Kushner gets to rattle off about a minute of these rosy delusional talking points. And then Haim Saban just crushes him and points out that, hey, no one involved in this team put together by Trump to negotiate Israeli Palestinian peace has any qualifications to speak of. They're basically clueless. And it is a stunning takedown. And then Haim Saban points out that there's no one who has a clue even working on this. How are you guys even still allowed to work on this? And you'll hear the crowd start laughing as if the 73 year old Saban is joking and Saban makes it clear. No, 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 no. I'm completely serious here. I, I understand that. But <laughs> to achieve that, the team has in it an entrepreneur, you, a real estate lawyer, a bankruptcy lawyer. I don't know how you've lasted eight months in this lineup, but that's a, for another day. <laughs> and it's impressive that it's still going. There's not a Middle East macher in this group. So, I mean, how do you operate with people who basically, you know, uh, with all due respect, a bunch of Orthodox Jews who <laughs> have no idea about anything? So, what so, are you guys doing? So, so, so I'll, I'll definitely no, ser say, seriously, I don't understand this. So, I'll definitely say it's not a conventional team, but. Uh, oh, you can say that again. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, that's what I said. That's yeah. what I said. Go well, say it again. Okay. <laughs> it's a perfectly qualified team um, in the way Haim sees it. So uh, how is that? No, no, I was joking. Oh. Uh, okay. so, uh, so, so we have. Um, uh, so when 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 we were thinking about how to put a team together, the the president uh, and I focused on uh, who had the right qualifications, uh, who uh, <laughs> yeah. we both trusted, and. Uh, you know, we have David Friedman, who's one of the most brilliant uh, bankruptcy lawyers, um, who uh, is a close friend. It's of a mine. bankrupt situation, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got the best bankruptcy lawyer working on Israeli Palestinian peace. I think you can actually see Kushner start to sweat here, and it went on. Maybe you can find the entire thing online. Now, if you don't know Israelis, you might actually think that Saban is joking because there's this thing about Israeli culture where, where you'll hear escalation in voices, like at the grocery store or at a bank, and you'll think an argument is going on, and it's not. Those are normal interactions. A lot of examples I could tell you from my last trip to Israel. 
But then on the other side, you'll see something like this, and it seems kind of sarcastic, kind of kind of ribbing, joking, and it's not. This is Haim Saban pointing out that Kushner and everyone on the team is clueless. What an embarrassment to Jared Kushner. I understand now why he's a behind-the-scenes guy. Yeah, I watched some of this, and my favorite point, the sticking point for me, yeah. was when Saban asked Kushner, what's going to make Trump able to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Yeah. And of course, Kushner responded by saying, well, he won the election, and a lot of people didn't think he could do that. It, it's, it's that kind of logic that actually works on a lot of people. So that's actually an interesting point because it's so absurd as a, as a qualification. But people will hear that, and they'll say, Hey, that's true. That that actually is a pretty good argument. It's not an argument. Even though many of these world leaders also won elections of their own. Yeah, and we're not going around praising them. Uh, what an embarrassment for Jared Kushner. Uh, that's all the time I have for today. No voicemail. Great bonus show. We'll talk to you tomorrow.